Hey VC, uh, Jeff back again with another unscripted, unresearched, talking, uh, this talking crap. Uh, got, uh, some recent listens, uh, got a stack of some newer stuff, um, I haven't gotten through all the newer stuff, but, um, and a lot of, uh, revisits on this one, um, we could skip through some of the, the more obvious ones, but jumping in, gotta, hope everyone's having a good holiday season. Uh, this is Uzeda and, um, was it Aqua? I'm going to screw that up. Aqua. Aqua, Quamque, Jerkstore, Sweater Rest, Tambul, or whatever that tells us. Okay. Um, cause it came out like a couple years ago. Um, it's an Italian noise rock. Uh, for the noise rock fans, you probably like this. Um, I had their first album, which I wasn't a really big fan of. This one, I'd say is pretty solid. Um, it's at least a four, maybe as high as four and a half. Um, I don't know, I've been doing like these long home projects lately and this is probably not what I need to be listening to. <laughs> it was kind of, kind of irritating me at the time, but uh, yeah, it's definitely a good album. Um, worth checking out if you like uh, the noise rock. So Uzeda. Um, yeah, just look for the cover. You're not going to figure out that name. I can't. Um, but yeah, pretty solid four, if not higher. Uh, next one, this is more in the jazz sphere of things. Uh, Butcher Brown, they're from... Uh, around Virginia somewhere, I believe, uh, around here. I um, haven't seen the full band, but I did see, uh, I think it was like their drummer or their bassist playing with, um, what's his face? Uh, I don't know, he's one of the more popular jazz artists these days, I freaking hell, can't remember. Uh, Tom, uh, it's Christian Scott, whatever his name is, it keeps changing it. Uh, but Butcher Brown, um, highly recommend this one, title being, that's not the title. I cannot read that. Uh, King... Oh, just King Butch. Okay, it's like hashtag King Butch. Okay. I thought that was like something else. Okay, so the title is actually hashtag <laughs> King Butch. Um, so it's got a bit... It's, you know, a little bit Chicago-y in, in style. It's got a little bit of that hip-hop um, thing going, some vocals. Um, so if that doesn't appeal to you, don't go here. It, it's not, you know, you're... It's, is not uh, traditional, um, you know, post bop or whatever, uh, but um, worth listening. That's a pretty solid four and a half. Um, this uh, Butcher Brown, two words. Um, this one, I, I'm gonna be honest, I was a little disappointed. I, I was expecting this to be better. Um, this was a, a record store a day thing from a few years ago. Uh, Worm with Exhumed. Uh, what this is, is, um, was, uh, what's his face, um, uh, Chuck Dukowski from Black Flag, um, the, and Dez is on a few of the tracks at least as well. Um, not hardcore, this predates hardcore, um, so it's somewhere in, hard, in the hard rock and metal, um, like early kind of Sabbath-y metal reign, um, so, you know, very hard rock, um, oriented but it, it's a very garage at the same time so it's kind of, um i think this is pretty much all their materials so it's a double disker um gatefold i believe it's on blue vinyl not nothing fancy though um but uh yeah it is it's not bad but it's not i wouldn't rush out and get it unless you are like a big black flag uh, super fan you can kind of hear some of the roots of black flag but it's uh it's a little little generic, bluesy, and a little too rough, <laughs> blues rock based, uh, hard rock slash metal, early metal, I don't know, so I, I'm three and a half ish, it's, it's, it's an interesting, um, interesting listen, this though gets a five, uh, don't need to talk about this one, um, yes, yeah, thank, thankfully somebody put it in Discogs, I just have to upload a picture maybe, but, uh, Ingress and Moen's, uh, recent repress of, um, I always forget the name of this one. So welcome to Samoa. Back from Samoa. I was like, welcome to Samoa. Um, this is like, of course, like, you know, their big one. But I, I kind of like um, that EP that came out before that. Uh, with the, has the girl with the the head exploding, or he has the drawing of the head exploding, depending on which pressing you get. Um, I have this like an early pressing of that, but it has the drawing. It's the like it's like it's like a second or a third pressing. But, um, yeah, I, I kind of favor that one a little bit more than this, but, uh, yeah, th I don't know. A lot of people like this one more, but it's, regardless, it's a five. 
this is, uh, it's got all the, the classics, like, uh, my male hands with that, so, and, uh, yeah, open sexual, they saved Hitler's cock, kind of, it, it, it is not PC punk, it's straight ahead, classic, east, uh, west coast, uh, punk there. Okay, um, this one's damn good, if you've never heard it, it's, uh, Sonny Shrock's first album, Black Woman, this is the, uh, s was it? Superior Viaduct or whatever um, reissue sounds really good. So I keep kicking myself because like I saw this all the time in Japan. I wanted to buy it, but I was like, "Ah, it's so common. I'll get it back when you know when I move back to the states." Like there's so every freaking record store has this. Then I go back to Japan last time and I couldn't find it. It's so, like luckily they repressed. Uh, yeah, nice repress. I'm happy. It sounds great. That's a five all day long. Um, okay, the rest I think are all revisits, but yeah, let's just get through that. Um, there's a New Dawn, um, self-titled, I believe, what, I think it's just, yeah, it's self-titled. Um, I liked it more the second time around, so for what it's worth, um, pretty straight ahead, uh, it was a private press, um, uh, just, you know, straight ahead, psych, um, middle of the road kind of stuff. Um, is it the best? No, it, it, it's, if you see an original, this, it, it demands like massive amounts of money, like thousands of dollars. Um, they, they pop up in thrift stores every once in a while, but probably not around here. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I was thinking about purging this. I'm probably going to give it at least a few more listens before I do that. So it's, it's worth a listen. Um, Gong Live, uh, this, there was a record day store, a uh, record store day thing um like a couple years ago that had some um additional stuff from this tour but yeah this is a double disker this is a um like a second pressing originals i think had uh, like in the middle here of the logo has like a cut out so like the pictures on the um the sleeves in the inner pop through but um yeah this is a pretty solid almost four and a half uh, it's probably the one and done gong i have this and like those at david allen banana Banana Moon or whatever between the two of them. That's pretty much all I need for their output. Um, four and a half worth checking out. Um, this one I'm going to screw up the name. This is the one I got from um, Dom. Uh, Dashiel Hedayat. Yeah, second listen. I, I yeah I, I didn't the first listen. I didn't give it like a really good listen. The second time I, I was a little bit better. I just been working on projects in, in the listening room, so, um, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot more the second time, so I'm bumping this up to four and a half, um, so this is a, I think it's a, I think this is like a boot from a few years ago, but it, it still sounds quite good if you can find it, um, just threw this one on, actually, this is an original, um, made in Japan by, um, Flower Traveling Band, who we were really big in the VC a few years ago, um, so Japanese hard rock, um, so this is the original. So it comes in like a um, like a record mailer, and it's like sealed like Velcro, and it's just got the record and the inners inside. But um, this is not all. This is not printed. This actual uh, it is an actual postal postage stamp, which is canceled out, and it's been pasted on there. It's got all like the pasting stuff, which is real, and the real real postal stamps, and uh, it's like a newsprint thing about. Uh, they were touring the U.S. opening for somebody, or rather, uh, should know that. Um, it says it in the opening of the album, actually. Now I can't remember who they were opening for. It was, it was some major American hard rock band. I don't know. Um, anyway, yeah, it, it's, I don't think it's their strongest outing, but um, still pretty good. So, um, yeah, it's pretty solid for. But, the, yeah, the, for me, this love is the packaging on that one. So it's, it's, it's kind of cool to have, and like there was another one I came out about the same time. Came in like a little leather satchel. It's kind of harder to find one that's not chewed up um, on the original, but I think they did a reproduction not that long ago. Uh, gossip, and this is I can't read that now. Standing in the way of control. Um, so it gets a little disco-y at times, but it, uh, it's kind of that dance, dance punk stuff. Um, I think they're from around uh, Sean's Way, like Louisiana area or something, because I know he's mentioned them quite a few times. But uh, yeah, I, I do enjoy this album a lot. Um, four and a half. J 
Chester Thomas, um, organ rock, I guess he was the Santana's uh, organist for a while. Um, so it was kind of soul jazz with organ, lots of organ. Um, yeah, really enjoyed that one, four and a half, uh, but not for everyone because I know a lot of you guys don't like organ. Uh, this is a split between uh, Decimus and what's it called? Horus Sun, I think. Uh, it's more like experimental. Gets a little droney at times. Like, you know, yeah, it's it's kind of like your your pots and pans and kitchen sink uh, experimental stuff, uh, but not really industrial. <laughs> um, but it's, it's, it's a fairly chill album considering. Um, yeah, yeah. This Decimus, I know, um, is the it's like half of uh, K. Salvador, which I've been collecting a lot of their albums over the last uh, couple of years. I just like the artwork. Um, this one, yeah, I guess it's like a screen print they did themselves or something. It's kind of cool. Um, so I, I want to say Sean gave this to me a while back. Um, but yeah, not, not the strongest outing, but it's still decent. Um, I actually like the, the whatever the, the first side was, Sun. Huru Sun. I actually like that side a little bit better than the Decimus side. Uh, here we go. A place to ba uh, bury strangers, worship. So more modern, uh, post-punk stuff. Two uh, thousands ish. Like, I don't know when this came out. Two thousand five. Oh, it was a little bit later. Oh, uh, this is twenty twelve actually. Um, yeah. So I, I like them. They're a little harder edged, uh, post-punk. Um, so that's ten years old now. Wow. Okay. Um, I like that album a lot. Uh, not necessarily their best album, but I'd still at least a four on that. I really like this one, four and a half. Um, not for everyone though. Sleep Chamber, Sonorous Invitations of Brian Jones. Uh, so it's a 10 inch, we can catch on to that. And then it's uh, kind of, you yeah, know, drone experimental, four and a half. Again, not for everyone. Um, much more accessible. Goat. Um, this is on Sub Pop, I don't know the title, Requiem. So it's a double um, LP, and yeah, these are cutouts. So you can, there's little sun, uh, sun rays or whatever, so you can see like the inners. So it's kind of like the gong. Um, it's a pretty solid album, uh, four and a half, uh, kind of jam bands, uh, kind of with the rotating members out of, I think they're Swedish, it could be Finnish. That's a little left field for me. <laughs> and Taurus Day, <laughs> Cutting Gabriel's, uh, you know, it's got like making Whoopi, all the all the classics on it. Sitting the top of the world. Um, I, I like Doris Day every once in a while. Let's look it on. Um, this one gets a five all day long. Uh, probably my favorite. Uh, it is my favorite uh, Mingus album. Um, Black Saint and Sinner Lady. This is the uh, Impulse reissue, 60 year or whatever audiophile acoustic series. So um, if you don't have, you know, you don't have or can't find an original, yeah, that's probably the one you want to get. It's a gatefold, but single disc, and yeah, it's a 10-inch uh, EP from Veruca Salt, five uh, tracks. It's got a cover of um, uh, shoot, Bodies, which I, yeah, that's uh, what he called Sex Puzzles, right? Yep. So right, pretty, uh, pretty fun outing by them. And I'm just gonna, well, actually, I did have a few CDs. So, um, dial M for Motherfucker. Or does it actually say Motherfucker? It does? Okay. By, um, uh, I'm, talking, man. I'm, in, I'm drinking the beer, man. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, Pussy Galore. Uh, maybe, maybe my favorite Pussy Galore album. So, I uh, wish I had that on vinyl. Just solid outing there. Four and a half. Uh, Circus Lupus, that gets a five from me. Um, so DC hardcore, very, it's kind of edging on the math rock a little bit, but um, yeah, uh, experimental post punk stuff. Um, Dianoga, that is very much in the math rock vein. I believe they're from um, Boston area, maybe? I've got a couple of their albums. Uh, my friends are like really into them for whatever reason. Back in the day, so I inherited some of the CDs, so. Uh, so not one before. That's the millions of Brazilians. Not sure which Brazilians it refers to. And then uh, yeah, those, those friends of these guys, uh, Chaco Chac Bear and Seven Two Three out of uh, they they were uh, Yokohama based. Um, so a Japanese punk band, pop punk ish. Uh, just fun. Um, 
anyway, I'm going to end it there, guys. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying your holidays. Um, I probably do have some new stuff coming through, but yeah, I don't know. I, I've shown most of my acquisitions of late. I've uh, just been uh, been working on a new arcade build, so I've been getting everything working on it. Um, and then, um, yeah. So take care, guys, and uh, yeah, see you in a week or two or whenever I get a big enough stack to show. Take care.